Hi and welcome to this short intro video on how to control Siegel Rec with your transmitter. First off, let me just tell a bit about the camera setup here. We have a Sony A6000 with an 18 to 105 motorized lens attached. The camera is currently off, also shown by the state LED on Siegel Rec down here. This switch on my transmitter here has been bound to channel 4 of uh, Siegel Rec, which controls the camera on off and the time lapse. So let's start by turning on the camera here. This switch, the first one over here, is configured to channel 1 on Siegel Rec, which is our photo and video record control. Let's try and trigger a photo with the AFT mode here. And the AFT mode is, of course, our one second pre autofocus followed by the shutter. Of course, we also have the IST mode, that is the instant trigger that will take a picture as fast as the camera can lock focus. But this is just the AFT mode to demonstrate here. If you flip the switch upwards, we will start video recording. And of course, it will record until we return the switch to neutral. The next switch here is configured to channel 3 on Siegel Rec, which is the manual photo mode, where it actually acts as a two-stage uh, trigger, just like the uh, trigger button on your camera. So in the lower position, we are in neutral. The middle position triggers the autofocus and it locks. And the upper position will then trigger the photo and act as a full press. This can be really useful for if you want to take multiple shots with the same focus. Because if you return to the middle position, it will keep the same focus point and you can trigger another photo or multiple photos. While, for instance, doing fast-paced action photography, so let's say on a racetrack, you can set, of course, your drive mode to continuous high, lock your focus on a corner on a racetrack, and actually just wait for a car or whatever you are, you are photographing to come by. And as soon as this, this object is closing in on your framing, you have, of course, your focus ready or down here, and you simply just trigger the camera and take a stream of photos. And uh, if you are not going back to neutral, you actually have the same focus lock so you can take the next couple of cars coming by like this. So that's a really useful feature if you're into photography. This manual photo mode is also really useful when recording video. You can actually utilize the AF feature on the uh, manual photo mode to actually focus your camera while recording should it go out of focus for some reason. As you can see in the camera, it focuses. Yeah. Let me show you the time-lapse mo mode now. Um, it is set up currently to a one second interval. And of course, it will just continue to, to trigger this interval uh, un until we return to, to neutral again here. So now let me show you the zoom functionality. We have the zoom with uh, seven different speeds, where the slowest is one millimeters of zoom per around three seconds. So it can go really slow. And of course, it gradually just goes faster and faster the more input that you give it. Of course, now it is set up just on this, uh, this right um, stick just to show the the, um, the zoom speeds more more gradually. But of course it could be mapped to this rotary switch up here or simply just to a three position switch, just preset on a given zoom speed that you wish to utilize for zooming in and out. That is all for now, for this uh, quick look on how to trigger Siegel Rec with the transmitter. And um, yeah, be sure to uh, check out the uh, video we do for the uh, Sony Handycams because we have some other possibilities with those. So uh, 
Yeah, have a nice day and uh, thanks for watching.